And are 38 at the airport, 40 up in North Las Vegas. Pahrump is 34, Sandy Valley 34, Prim 35, Mesquite 36, Overton, the rest of the Moapa Valley in the mid and the upper 30s and Laughlin hey, looking good, 52 down the river. By the afternoon, Laughlin will get up to 65. We've got another day in the 50s, probably upper 50s here in the Las Vegas Valley. Eh, slim little chance that few neighborhoods on the east side sneak up to 60, but I think thicker high clouds this afternoon uh, will probably cap our temperatures in the upper 50s in most neighborhoods. And hey, it's winter coat weather this morning. As we saw, we've got a lot of folks down in the 30s. We're only 43 degrees at 8 o'clock this morning. Not too much wind today or tomorrow. Uh, so we'll manage these about average highs for mid January in the upper 50s through the start of the weekend. Also, as we start the weekend, we bring the rain chances back Saturday. Eventually, the rain chance climbs to 70%. That means there's about a 7 in 10 chance that you'll have some measurable rain at some point in time on Saturday. It doesn't mean it's going to rain 70% of the day on Saturday. We actually think a lot of the moisture may hold off until Saturday evening and Saturday night. Sunday, 30% chance of some showers. Monday, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day. We've got the parade airing here on Channel 13. Well, we'll have a 60% chance of at least a few raindrops at times on Monday. Here's future cast and there likely will be a few light showers around Saturday morning. We may catch a break in the activity the rest of Saturday before the main pull of moisture comes through Saturday evening, possibly lingering into Saturday night. So if you've got outdoor things that need to get done, well, today and tomorrow, especially once we climb into the 50s during the afternoon, these would be good days to do outdoor things today and tomorrow because we'll have plenty of clouds, a few breezes, and a few often on raindrops, not only Saturday and Sunday, but Zora also on Monday. Then Tuesday, those shower chances will thin out, but we're not going to warm up. We actually get cooler by the middle of next week. All right, good to know. Thank you so much, Justin.